In this tutorial, we'll look how to add a recipe into Nutrimin, analysing it, comparing it to the FSA traffic lights, and add it to an existing food diary. To start, after you've logged in on My Nutrimin, go to My Recipes, and then Start New Recipe. The title of our recipe is Lucy's Lemon Cake, and it makes 10 portions. We have to decide how many nutrients you want to analyse and for the vast majority of purposes, 31 is plenty. And create. So here we're on the recipe screen for recipe entry for Lucy's Lemon Cake. And we've got the usual search box on the left where we're going to find all our ingredients. So first we've got some butter. Just normal butter that you'd cook with. And we know from the recipe there was 115 grams. And you can either press enter or click to add it to the recipe list. Next was some sugar, just white sugar that you would cook with and from the recipe you can see it's 215. Then eggs, so we're looking for plain eggs then, uh, some but raw, so one egg is 50 so we had four eggs so that's going to be 200. Add to recipe and you can see it's building up nicely. Our next ingredient was some uh, almonds. So that was 180 grams and enter. Then some poppy seeds and from the recipe then 80 grams. And lastly then some self-raising flour. The white self-raising has been selected by default and our quantity then is 125. So we've got all the ingredients of our recipe then in this recipe sheet here. What we need to do then is just to click publish to my list and the recipe then has all been put together ready for us to analyse. So in the analysis screen then and for Lucy's lemon cake you can see on this traffic light tab at a glance, you can see the different uh, nutrients. We've got sugars, total fat, saturated fat and salt, and you can see red for all of those, unsurprisingly, um, and then listed then as numbers. So the important thing is to find out which foods contributed those nutrients. So we click on the Contributing Food tab, and let's look, for example, at the saturated fat. So we look here at saturated fat, and this then chart tells us where the saturated fat comes from, and unsurprisingly, the vast majority coming from butter. So 75% um, of that saturated fat providing coming from butter, followed by almonds, eggs, and poppy seeds. If you wanted to add a slice of that lemon cake into an existing food diary, then from the home page, you'd find the diary that you wanted to add it to, in this case, Kate Smith. That's all the foods that she consumed. And then we use the search box then to look for Lucy's lemon cake. And the portion size it suggests then is it's added up all the weight of all the ingredients we've put in and divided by the number of portions that we said it made. So we said it made 10 slices. And so that makes 92 grams for each slice. And we add it in. And there it is, right at the bottom then, uh, Lucy's lemon cake a slice. So that's how to add a recipe to Nutrimin, to analyse it and to add it to a diary. Have a look at the other video tutorials to find out what else you can do with Nutriment.